Breaking news at 6, two workers are rescued after scaffolding ends up in a precarious position in downtown Milwaukee. Our Bria Jones joins us live now from outside the Milwaukee County Courthouse. Bria, walk us through the timeline here of these events that started earlier this afternoon. Well, Steph, uh, Fire Chief Aaron Lipsky, he says that the two workers that were inside of that basket on the scaffold, he says that they were suspended in the air for about 30 minutes. So thankfully, no one was hurt. Fire Chief Aaron Lipsky says that is the best possible outcome to this story. Now, again, I want you to take a look behind me. That scaffold, you can see it's still hanging at an angle. I can report now that everything, all the equipment you see up there has been double secured. And that's according to the fire department. Now, I want you to take a look at this incredible video. Now, we were streaming this live around three this evening. Now, we are told again, all the equipment has now been double secured. Milwaukee Fire's heavy urban fire team did respond, but they found two trapped individuals. They were eventually able to lower a radio to have direct contact with them. M MFD also says they were able to actually bring up a Spanish-speaking firefighter to help bridge the language barrier. Now, again, the workers that were inside of that basket, they were removed by their co-workers, we're told. They were safely removed. They have zero injuries. Now, again, the crew here, the crew appears to be working with Berglin Construction. I did contact them this afternoon. They told me they had no comment at this time. Now, we know, at least from the sheriff's office, as well as fire department that the crew here they were working on a con construction a courthouse facade restoration project the building you see here again built in the 1920s we're told that this was actually phase three of that project now chief lipsky he says that his crew they were ready in position to actually go down and to get those workers but he says the co their co-workers the crew that was already here they were already ready to save their co-workers lives there was no fall, there was no injury, even though the thing was, you know, canted like that. Uh, they had capable co-workers in place. I tell you what, huge kudos to those folks for stepping in and starting. Uh, by the time we got here, they had started to put some of their extra equipment from topside in, in position to be able to help, and that's, that's enormous. Now, I'm going to read part of a statement that we got from County Executive David Crowley. He says, in part, I'm grateful for the swift action from our first responders in rescuing the individuals, and I'm pleased that no injuries occurred during this situation. The cause of this incident will be fully investigated before any work resumes. Now, again, right now we have the sheriff's office out here. They are securing this area. They're blocking it off for the night just to make sure that everyone is safe here. Now reporting live downtown, Bria Jones, Fox 6 News. Well, I know one was hurt there. All right, Bria, thanks.